Hi, plant loving friends. Welcome. Today I'm going to be talking to you about Calicia. At Groovy Plants Ranch, we carry three types of Calicia. We have Calicia repens bianca, Calicia repens gold, and then Calicia repens pink panther. They are all great plants. They all have similar care. And I'm going to talk to you today first about basic care for this group of plants. And then specifically, I'm going to talk about the bianca because it has a little bit more nuance to its care. These are great plants. They're really easy to take care of. Very similar to a wandering dude or the Tretiscantia group. Uh, water them when they're dry and uh, make sure they have bright indirect light. They are pretty forgiving about what that bright indirect light means and they're also pretty forgiving if you are not watering as regularly as they would prefer. Bright indirect light for this plant means in a bright window that is getting lots of bright noticeable light but no direct sun or in a bright room up to three feet away from a hot window. You wanna to try to avoid any direct afternoon sun. It can take uh, some morning sun. And as far as watering goes, you're going to be watering them when the top half of the soil is dry and the bottom half is still damp. If you wait a little bit too long to water, you may have some inner leaf loss because when they dry out, they shed their older leaves so that they can continue to grow and the newer, younger, more efficient leaves, but it, the plant itself will continue to grow and be happy for you. Um, just water it and it should perk right back up. Those are the basic care instructions for all three of these plants. You will find that if you're putting them in less than their bright light, if you're putting them in sort of a medium to dark light situation, you're going to get some stretching or etiolation where they are reaching towards the sun that they are getting. And you're also going to notice some bleaching in their color saturation. And that means for the Bianca, the pink is going to fade more to a white. The gold is going to, instead of having new growth that's gold and old growth that's fading to chartreuse, all of it's going to be sort of a chartreuse or a little bit darker. And then the Pink Panther is, as far as color goes, the most forgiving for lower light situations but it also will be less saturated in a lower light situation. I just wanted to show you guys what they look like up close because they're just so beautiful. This is the Pink Panther. Look at that beautiful plant. This one has leaves that are half the size of the Bianca and it's a lot more purple. The gold. Also, this one is the fastest growing of the three. And that one has new growth that is a bright greenish yellow, a little bit more yellow than chartreuse, and then fades to a medium chartreuse tone. So you have a nice plant with a striation of color as it goes down. And then of course, Clisia repens bianca. This is a customer favorite as well as one of our favorites because it's variable variegation. Now what does variable variegation mean? It means that some of the green plant is going to have fully green leaves like this one. Some of the leaves are going to be fully pink like this one and many are going to be somewhere in between that are half green and half pink. This plant does take a little bit more care than these two for it to continue to look nice over time. Not much. Don't worry about getting stressed out because it's more work. It's just that the ones that are more pink and the ones with pink and green are a little bit slower growing about by half than any of the branches that are almost completely green or all green. So in order to keep this plant having a nice half and half color balance, you're going to want to find any green leaves and you're going to just pinch them and remove them because they grow twice as fast as the ones that are pink. And if your branch has no pink in it at all, it's not going to produce any new branches with pink. If you have a branch that's half green and half pink, it could be anything. If you have a branch that's all pink, it could be anything. But a branch that is fully green will only produce more green branches. So you want to just, you know, when you're walking by, if you notice a fully green branch, to get, pinch it out and remove it. It's going to help your plant over time continue to have a nice balance of color. And then with any of these, if you notice that they've started to get a little bit long, not even because they're leggy, but just because they're getting a little big in their pot, you can always just do a nice trim with a pair of trimmers, remove any extra plant material, and then those, any branches that you've removed can either be placed back into the pot or you can just discard them. But it's really easy to root these, just like those Tretiscantia or the Wandering Dude group, place them in soil and you should see new roots in about three to four weeks. We don't use any water propagation or rooting hormones with this group. There you have it. The Calicia group, 
very easy, very beautiful, works great in a mixed combination with other higher light house plants, and it is an easy, easy care plant. We love this plant, and we hope you do too. Thanks for joining us.